and then when I woke up the the morning the morning my heart was just pumping. Mm. And I knew it was the Lord saying to me, You need to give your heart to me. Mm -hmm. And I said to him in that vision, I said to him, I said, Lord, you know I don't ready for this thing. You know I don't ready for this. But if if that is what you want, you have to direct me. And I'll just say I could never forget. That same time there was a crusade going on. Hmm. And I went and requested baptism in Corinth with Latouche. Take you know the Latouche. And I said I want to get baptized. Hmm. And I gave my heart to the Lord. Hmm. And from ever since, hmm. God has hmm. been good to me, brother. Hmm. Good. That was in the year 1979. Ooh, nice. September Ooh. 1979. God has been good to me. Amen. I have been through the storm. I have been Amen. through the fire. Amen. But I read in his words, he says, when thou passes through the fire, thou shalt be removed. When thou go through the water, it shall not overflow. And my favorite text of scripture comes from the book of Isaiah 41.10 that says, Fear thou not, for I am Amen. with thee. Be not dismayed. Amen. For I am thy God. Yes. I will help you. Yea, I will strengthen you. Yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. So, God has been good to me. Amen. I've been there. I've been through struggles. But he has been there with me. You know, as, as parents, I think all of us are parents here. When we have our children, mm -hmm. we have great expectation for our children. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? right? And so sometimes you while parenting them, you know, we come up with ideas and, and think what we are going to put in place mm -hmm. to make sure that our children have the best of what we want for them because we set expectation. Yeah. Some of us parents, we said, I want my child to be a doctor. Right. Some says, I want my child to be a policeman. Some that are all different, correct? So, yeah. so, so in our mind, we visualize what we want our yes. children. Right. And we go to the length and breadth mm. to make sure that we put things, we put mechanism in place so that our expectation for our yeah. children will be accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. Father, help us today, Lord. As we stand before you and as we view you, Lord, we will see you as the one high and lifted up. Yes, Lord. God, and we will submit ourselves to you so that your Holy Spirit, Lord, can work through us, with us, in us, mm -hmm. to accomplish the great task, Lord, that you have set before us. Amen. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have your Bibles, for the next few minutes, let's just turn to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 5. And when I read that passage of Scripture, it brought tears, literally brought tears to my eyes. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 5 says, and we would read, Now I sing to my well beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well beloved had a vineyard in a very fruitful hill, mm. Mm. and he fenced it. And gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine yes. and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press. Yes. And he looked that it should bring forth mm. grape mm. and it brought forth. Wild grape. Mercy. 
How do you know what's going on? You remember I, 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 I shared a little thing about the parent? Mm -hmm. With a parent and a child, when, when, when the parent had done every mm. single thing for the child yes. to make sure that the child reached an expectation mm. Mm -hmm. of, 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 of something of substance, something of worth. Yes. And, 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 and you give the child, you, you, your intention is to make sure that the child come on what it has to be. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, sometimes, as, 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 as fathers and mothers, sometimes that same expectation you have for your daughter mm -hmm. prematurely ends because mm -hmm. in school she gets pregnant. Mercy. Mm -hmm. And it shatters your, 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 your entire dream for mm -hmm. that child. Mercy. And, 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 and even, even maybe it might be a son. You know, you have that great expectation for the son, and you put everything in place, yeah. and here the son turns out to be a gangster. Yes. It shatters your dreams, yes. and it brings tears and, and pain to the, mm. the, 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 the heart of the parent. Yes. This story is saying the exact thing that I am saying mm. today. <laughs> yes. Here it says, this man, he says, he's planting a vineyard. Verse. Verse. Yeah? Verse. I'm starting back from verse 1. Okay, okay. So, he says, Now I sing a song to my well-beloved, a song to my beloved, touching his vineyard. Verse. My well-beloved had a vineyard yes. in a very fruitful place. Mm. Because, 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 because you are expect, you are expecting harvest. Yes, 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 yes. So, so, so when you set out to, to, to plant whatever crop, I mean, here it says a vineyard, yes. but when you set out to, to plant your crop, yes. you are looking for the best plot of land, yes, the best soil. And not only the best soil, but, 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 but look at what it says here. So it says, he, he, um, he in a fruitful hill and he fenced it <laughs> so, so he did not just look for the best plot of land but he fenced it yes. meaning that he makes sure that it is protected yes, 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 yes. and not only did he fence it <laughs> But he says he gather out the stones thereof mm. because stones are hindrances to production of plants. Mm. So he says he, he, he takes out the stones. So, 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 so here he chose the best plot of land. Mm. He fenced the land yes. and he takes the stone out of the land mm. because he is anticipating harvest. Yes. Yes. Not only did he take the stones out, hmm. but look at what he says, and he planted it with the Choice. choices. In other words, he, he, he goes out there and get the best plants, yes. the best seeds. Yes. 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 Because in the man's mind, he is anticipating a great harvest. My goodness. And he built a tower in the midst. Because, because, because when, 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 when the vineyard produces, he wants to have the wine press. Yes. But there comes the shocking reality to this man. Mm. The shockiest, shocking reality. He said he built a tower in the midst and made a wine press therein, and he looked that it should bring forth grape, but it bring forth wild grape. Mm. Mm. Verse 3 says, 
And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the men of Judah, I pray thee, betwixt me and my vineyard, what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, I look that it should bring forth grapes, but it bring forth wild grapes. In other words, the man is saying, what else could I have done? What else? I choose the best plot of land. I fence the land. I choose the choicest vine. What else could I have done? Mercy. Where did I go wrong? Mercy. <laughs> Mercy. Is God talking? Yes! <laughs> Mercy. Where did I have go wrong? What could I have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done? Mm -hmm. Wherefore I look that it should bring forth great but it brought forth wild grapes. I go now to, and I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. In other words, after putting out all that I have put out, after I have done all that I could have done, this is what you're giving me? This is what you're giving me? This is what you bring forth? Mm. He said, so this is what I will do. Mm. I will take away the hedges thereof, mm -hmm. and it shall be eaten up, mm. and break down the walls thereof, mm. and it shall be trodden down. Yes, sir. And I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned, not dug, but there shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they not, that they rain, no rain upon it. For the vineyard, listen to this, and it explains it, brothers. He says, for the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel mm. and the men of Judah his pleasant plan mm. and he looked for judgment mm. but behold oppression mm. and unrighteousness mm. but behold a cry, a cry. Mm. I tell you when I read that passage of scripture oh, literal tears came to my eyes oh. because as a parent I, I I fully understand what the guy is saying. I fully understand what God is saying. You have sleepless nights trying to make ends meet working two jobs to make sure that your children have the best. To give them what they need so that they could come up to an expectation of betterment. And bam, your son becomes a gangster. Nothing pains a parent more than this. Mm. Mercy, mercy. So God is saying here that he had done everything mm. for us. Whatever he could have done, he, he, he even questioned himself. Mm. What more? What more could the Lord have done that he did not do? What more? Mm. I believe, and, and as I said this morning, I believe God is fed up with us. Yes. Okay. I believe it. From way back then, God has been just fighting with us, pleading with us, struggling with us. And yet still we cannot come to the realization, hey, that God wants to do a work in us. Mm -hmm. God has a specific work for us to do. God has a plan for us. We did not just come by here. We, we are not just another church. And sometimes, sometimes how we operate, 
We operate like if we just another gathering. But no! The spirit of prophecy says that on this church, God places his supreme regard. His supreme regard. But we, 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 we have fought with him. We, we, we have bypass his plan we, we, we have turned against mm -hmm. what he wants for us and we decide to do all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mercy, Lord. Have mercy Lord but I wonder how long would it take us to realize mercy, that we cannot accomplish nothing without him <laughs> for he says without me nothing. you can do nothing for years, God is asking us to come back. <laughs> come back to the place where he wants us to be. And early morning says, in the book, Selected Messages, mm. book one, page 121, she says, a revival of true godliness among us mm. is the greatest and most urgent need of all our needs. Mm. Yes, yes. A revival of true godliness yes. among us is the greatest and most urgent of all our needs. Mm. Wow. So, so in other words, there are we have many needs. But what she's saying, our top priority right. is revival and reformation. Yes, 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 yes. Because without revival and without reformation, no we remain dead. Yes. There will be no transformation. Dead. No wonder why today we preach to ourselves, we sing to ourselves, mm. we, 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 we educate ourselves, mm. we do everything amongst ourselves, mm. we witness to ourselves. Mm. So, 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 so it's like, it's like, it's like an arena we are in. We practice, mm. home, we come, mm. we perform, mm -hmm. and then we go back home and practice, we come, we perform. Yes. Oh. Then, So she says, a revival of true godliness among us is our greatest and most urgent of all our needs. To seek this should be our first work. There must be an earnest effort to obtain the blessings of the Lord. Not because God is not willing to bestow his blessing upon us, but because we are unprepared to receive it. Mm. So, so, so God, God is there anxiously waiting yes, yes. to bestow the most important gift to us. Mm. But we are not receiving it. Mm. Not because he don't want to give it to us. But, but because we are not putting ourselves in the place mm. to receive the gift yes. that God is willing to give to us. Have you ever tried cooking food without salt? I tell. I tell. Have you ever tried making juice without sugar or honey? So the greatest need that God wants to give us, that will cause us to accomplish what He wants us to accomplish, we cannot receive it. Because we are not in the position to receive, to receive it. So true. She says, Our Heavenly Father is more willing to give of His Holy Spirit to them that ask Him than any earthly parents to give good gifts to their children. But it is our work by what? Confession. Humiliation, mm. repentance, mm. and earnest prayer mm. to fulfill the condition upon which God has promised to grant us 
the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but we have come to a time when it seems that, and as I shared that, she said, another statement she says, one of our greatest needs in the church is the want of men. Mm -hmm. Men, not who, and I'm putting in that, not whose hands are filled, heads are filled, but heart is empty. Mm -hmm. But it seems that this is the trend we are going. Mm -hmm. We are looking for men whose hands are filled, mm -hmm. heads are filled, mm -hmm. but heart is empty. Mm -hmm. No wonder why our messages are like dry potatoes. Dry potatoes. No nutrients to build up the believers. No nutrients that will cause us to grow in grace and in knowledge and in wisdom and standard. Because it is not being attended by the Holy Spirit. Because when we have to present a message, we run on the internet, and I know when they do that. They run on the internet, they download something, and they come and they present it to the church. Not given by God. They are not given by God. Because they are not called by God. So how could you give something that God wants you to give when God has not called you? You cannot give what you don't have. That is why God is, is looking for men, 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 men who would align themselves with him. Not because of your education, but because of your likeness. For Jesus Christ. Yes. I want to read another statement. You see, Satan knows very well the potential of this church. Of course. And this is why he's working overtime, mm -hmm. double time, mm -hmm. triple time, mm -hmm. to make sure that the church doesn't have mm. what it should have. And, 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 and from ever since, Satan's purpose is to infiltrate our church mm. and bring us to nothing. Mm -hmm. And if we are not careful, and if we do not have the eyes out, we would not see. Mm. So when those men come in the jacket and suits mm. and gowns, mm. we think that they are spiritual. Mm. Listen to what it, I don't know what he said. In Testimonies, Volume 5, page 80 and 81, she says, I will have upon the ground, Satan says, mm, come as many agent, mm. men holding false doctrine, mm. mingled with just enough truth to deceive souls. I will also have unbelieving ones present who will express doubt in regard to the Lord's messages of warning in to his church. Mm. Should the people read and believe this admonition, we could have little hope of overcoming them. Mm. But if we can die, but if we can divert the attention from this warning, mm. they will remain ignorant to the power of the power and calling and we shall secure them in our ranks at last. No wonder why the man that is imbued with the Spirit of God, they don't want them to preach anymore. No, no. They don't want them to have Bible studies anymore. They count them as offshoots sometimes. 
the man that is, 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 is willing to uplift the church and, and bring the church to a standard where God wants us to be, they don't want them anymore. Because those souls would be won and those souls would be would, would uplifted and, and they would have the eyes to distinguish truth from error. Yes. So they don't want them anymore. So they place them in the back burners of the church. And they find all sort of false and all, all sort of accusation. But the day is coming when God is going to do a revival among us as we have not seen. Amen. Amen. Since apostolic time, the Lord. God is looking for men and women. Of. God is fed up with the mediocrity of where we are today because we settle for less. Mm. We major in minors and minors in majors. Mm. Mercy. Things that should take first place in our, in, 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 in our church, we still arguing whether or not. And those things that are not essential. Mm. <laughs> that is what we spend nights on on church board and, and deacons board and elders board. We spend nights arguing those foolishness. Essential. Not essential. And the things that are supposed to lift us up as a church, we put them on the back corner. Yes. It's a trick of Satan. Mm. And that is why he said Satan have in high places. Mm. Hmm. Men with error, but just a sufficient truth. <laughs> and that is to make sure to deceive us. <laughs> and that is why Ellen White says, only those of us who have fortified our minds with the word of God. Yes. That is why we need to study the word. <laughs> Be faithful, live by the word in spite of who comes against you, in spite of who don't like you and who don't want to see you and who don't want you to be around. Stand with the word. As I always say to my folk, I don't really need an office in church. I don't want to have an office. Because an office is not what gives me the joy of salvation. Amen. What gives me the joy of salvation is studying the word and witnessing. Yes. Amen. God is merciful. God is merciful to us. God cannot be much longer with us. Mm. True, true. He cannot. Rich. He cannot and he will not. Mm. Because the Bible says, mm. he that will come, mm. will come yes. and shall not tarry. So if we think we could hold him up, <laughs> no. let's hold him up. I remember attending a meeting with Dr. Henry Wright. And this, this was some of the words that he used. That our ministers and our leaders are fighting to keep this church in business. But we as God's children must fight to put this church out of business. Oh, yes. we, 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 we want to stay in business because we like the perks mm -hmm. and we like the payments. Mm -hmm. But we, as God's children, we know that our home, we are just pilgrims and strangers. Why, 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 why do we want to keep us in business? Hmm. Let, let, as I close, I hope I don't take it up. No, 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 no. <laughs> Only those who have been diligent students of the scripture 
and who have received the love of it. You hear these words? Diligent student and who have received the love of the truth will be shielded from the powerful delusion that takes the world captive. <laughs> you see how easy we go along with everything they say? <laughs> everything they administrate for us, we go along with it. Rum shops open, church closed. <laughs> Preacher. Golf course open, church closed. Abortion clinics open, church closed. Everything they administer for us, we go along with it. Because we are not seeing the bigger picture. It is Satan's purpose to keep this church dormant. Mm -hmm. The more we remain dormant and stagnant is the more he gather in mm -hmm. to his kingdom. Yes. Thank God for the few yes. that have the love for souls. Yes. And that is why we are here today. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. See, there are Few who have any conception of the deceptive power of spiritualism and the danger of a danger of coming under its influence. Mm. Few. Few. Mm. There are few who have any conception of the 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 deceptive power of spiritualism. Mm -hmm. How did we come under this power? How we come there? Yeah. We find ourselves there <laughs> because we go along. Yes, sir. Everything we go along, mm -hmm. they say march, we march. Yes. They say step aside, we step aside. Mm -hmm. Say drum. But I always say, and they give us money to yes, they give us money to keep quiet. But I always say, I am one man who cannot be bought or sold. Mm. Amen. I would not be influenced by your perks <laughs> or your position title. or whatever title you want to give me. I would not be influenced by that. Because I know that God has called me for a specific purpose. Amen. Amen. And as, 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 as the early apostle says, I will rather fear God than serve man. Let's watch this then. They venture upon forbidden ground. And the mighty destroyer exercised his power upon them against their will. You see? <laughs> what the fun? Yeah. You see, we think we think that when we do not go in line with God, we would be out of the reach of Satan. Mm. But the moment time we step aside from the plans of God, Satan is not a gentleman who would come and ask you if he could take over. He comes in and take over. So this is why it is important, brethren, to stay in the guidelines God has given to us. But how many times we find ourselves just deviate from way back. When we do that, Satan places a spell upon us and control our mind, mm -hmm. our so we cannot think right, we cannot reason properly. So yes. things, things, oh my goodness, things that look so awful and, and sinful to the child of God, to you is nothing. And that's why we have a problem. What he want to play? Why he playing? He what he think he's holier than thou? No, because. God has given you the eyes to see. Yes. yes, yes, yes. 
So you see the danger, you're talking about the danger, and they're asking what you're playing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let, let, you hear what she said? It says, they venture upon forbidden grounds, and a mighty destroyer exercise his power upon them against their will. Hmm. So, in other words, when he come, come on he will be doing things through you mm -hmm. that you're not even aware of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. I'm going to close with this last. It says, Let them once be included to submit their minds to his direction and he holds them captive. It is impossible in their own strength to break away from the bewitching, allowing spell. Nothing but the power of God mm. granted in answer to the earnest prayer of faith can deliver those ensnared souls. A spell. Really? Yeah. God? Yes, I really think it really. Yeah. It is impossible in their own strength to break away from the bewitching, allowing spell. Mm. Nothing but the power of God granted in earnest, granted in answer to earnest prayer of faith can deliver the ensnared souls. Mm. But I want to finish with this. God's word rightfully understood and applied is a safeguard against spiritualism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The word of God is plain. It is a straight chain of truth. Mm -hmm. It will prove an anchor to those who willing to receive it even if they have to sacrifice their cherished fables. Mm -hmm. It will save them from the terrible delusion mm -hmm. of the perilous time. of truth. I read a statement from Ellen White and you know a lot of things I'm not bashing the church but questions we, we no doubt we are living in a questionable time you're seeing it all around us you're seeing the things that are happening the things that we are placing emphasis on. Mm. And Ellen White says, the question of the voice of the conference is the voice of God, <laughs> the voice of the general conference. General, no, no, no. Not anymore. That's one the week. And most times, people will tell you that. Mm -hmm. it, yes, yes, well, we yes. go along with it because that is yes, the yes. rule from the general mm. conference. But you know what Ellen White says? Come on now. The voice of the con or the voice of the conference could only be the voice of God mm -hmm. if the men in the conference are controlled by God. Yes. Yes. Come on, yes. Come on. Mm -hmm. But we are seeing otherwise today. Mm -hmm. Mercy. I don't care for their lips. She said the Jesse to take over. I've been saying it all over. We are seeing different today. Yes. And sometimes the eyes of God gives you, you see straight through them. Mm -hmm. see them. Straight through them. Yes. Brethren, we need to stay focused. Yes. If there is never a time mm -hmm. that we need to stay focused and yes. keep our eyes on Jesus, it's not. 
God he said that he's coming for a church without spots and ring. Even though today we hear from the pulpit, we would be sinning until Christ comes because we are sinners. Christ said he's coming for a church without spots. So if we are sinning until Christ comes, then Christ ain't coming no. But God's word never returned unto him. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Lay hold on the word of God. It is our only safeguard from what we are facing today. Come to Jesus. May God bless us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's just go ahead. Lord Jesus. What a grand but awful time to be living in. We know, Lord, it would be grand for those who have made the peace calling and election show. It would be grand for those who are holding on to the dust set the Lord. It will be grand for those who are confessing and forsaking and agonizing before God. It would be grand for those who have their eyes fixed on Orion. Yes. It would be grand for those who are praying night and day, even so, come Lord Jesus. But it would be awful, Lord, for those who have set aside your desire, your command, for the desire and commands of men. Oh God, I pray even now, Lord, that you would open the eyes of those folks, open the eyes that they would see, Lord, that your coming is soon. Every indication, Lord, indicates that you are coming soon. It's coming soon. Lord, you gave, you gave that revelation. You said, Lord, as it was in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Lord, we are living in this time when two men, two men, can become husbands and wives. Mm -hmm. This is an abomination. Mm -hmm. God, you predicted that. You said whenever we see this, mm -hmm. we should know, Lord, that you are coming. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, we have no doubt. We have no doubt that you are on your way. Soon, Lord, you will throw down that censor and you will say, it is finished. He that is filthy, let him remain filthy still. He that is holy, let him remain holy still. He that is righteous, let him remain righteous. I pray, Lord, that all those that are within the hearing of my voice and those that I will come in contact with, Lord, throughout the rest of my life would be among those of us who will be righteous and remain righteous until you come. Amen. Blessed and keep us faithful, I ask, even amidst all the perils hmm. and all the stumbling blocks. Yes. Keep us from falling yes. and present us faultless before you throw, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.